in John chapter 3 verse 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life give me verse 17 for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved give me 18 he that believeth on him is not condemned but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. So that word condemned is the word distinguished. Is the word crino, the word for judgment. He that believes is not distinguished or separated. But he that believes not is distinguished. Jesus came not to condemn the world. So in giving of Jesus, there is no distinguishing. But in the receiving, there is distinguishing or judgment. This puts to flight, like I said, anyone that says because Christ died for all, all are saved. Because there is a distinguishing in the receiving. In the giving, there is no distinguishing. But in the receiving, there is a distinguishing. There is a judgment there. That also cancels, you know, this uh, school of thought that says um, God has, has selected those that will go to heaven. There is no distinguishing in the giving of Christ. He that believeth is not condemned. No distinguishing. But he that believeth not is condemned already. He is distinguished. Jesus died for all men. So on God's part, he gives to all people indiscriminately. On man's part, there is a discrimination in how he believes or not believe. All right? Now, look at verse 19 of same chapter. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. This is the condemnation, an action done, the Greek word crisis. And then the word krino means to act, to sin. This is the condemnation or this is the crisis that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. So see the condemnation. Where the condemnation is coming from is man's conduct. So again, let's look at the word krino. Krino is to distinguish between light and darkness so that what the judgment of God does in this case is it distinguishes between light and darkness, between believing and unbelieving, deeds that are evil and deeds that are good. Look at that John 3 verse 20. Please pay attention. This is very fundamental. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. So we have two things here. Notice that the judgment is always made between two things. Who is the person whose deeds are good? He that believes. Who is the person whose deeds are bad? He that believes not. So deeds has to do with believing and deeds has to do with not believing. Alright? Now, if you pay attention, you will see something very shortly. So that judgment, as we have been reading from Genesis 2, is to expose he that believes from he that does not believe. That's judgment. Abel believed. Adam did not believe. Distinguishing. From Genesis, from the beginning of time. All right? Now, so we have consequences attached to the choices or decisions that we make. Look at John chapter 3 verse 36. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth in him. 